Okay, let's see how we can use Newton's method to solve this equation right here. So of course, we need to have a function, and notice that this is equal to zero already, and that's exactly what we need. Just pick this to be a function, because Newton's method is only good for solving for the zeros of a function. So right here, we'll just say, let f of x be equal to this, which is 2x to the third power minus 3x squared plus 2. And then we will also get its derivative right here, which is going to be 6x squared minus 6x. And now we are in business. We'll just run through the formula. And the formula is the following. I'll put it down right here, actually. xn, meaning the next iteration for the x value, is equal to the previous x value. And then we minus the value of the function at the previous x divided by its derivative at its previous x value. So you see, this, this and that, they are based on the previous x value. And the function is on the top, the derivative is on the bottom. So let's go ahead and get to work. Firstly, we are given that x1 is equal to negative 1. So that tells us x2 is going to be, well, we use the previous x value, which is negative 1, and then we add, so we, add, we subtract the value of the function at the previous x value. So we're just plugging negative 1 into all these x's. So we get 2 times negative 1 to the third power minus 3 times negative 1 squared and then plus 2 divided by now we put negative 1 into here and here. So it gets 6 times negative 1 square and then minus 6 times negative 1. And of course, use a calculator to do all this, and then you will end up with negative 0 0.75. All right? And then for x3, which is the next x value, we are going to use this as the previous x value and then just do the same thing. So this right here goes here. So it's negative. 0 0.75 and then we put this into the original and right here it's subtract and then we have this right here which is 2 times negative 0 0.75 to the third power and then minus 3 times negative 0 0.75 square and then plus 2 and over okay do the same thing so we have 6 times negative 0 0.75 square minus 6 times negative 0 0.75. And again, just kind of work this out. This time, you'll get a pretty crazy number. And uh, let me see the direction. We want four decimal places. So we are going to have this. Okay, I'll write this down. This is approximately negative 0 0.68 to 5. And that will do it. Yeah, just two iterations. And of course, the more you do it, the um, you will see that this one actually converges very nicely. So.